we are going to find the interval of convergence of this power series. And then remember, for the interval of convergence, it means that we are trying to find out for all the value of x, so that I can plug in to this power series, into this x right here. And then this is going to produce us a convergence series. That's the idea. And then most of the time, we'll just be using the ratio test to help us out. And let's go ahead and do that. For the ratio test, we will take the limit as n goes to infinity, and then we check the ratio a n plus 1 over a n. Let's go ahead and do that. But then we have the absolute value, and let me put it down as a n plus 1 times 1 over a n. Alright, this right here is equal to, we will first do some algebra. a n plus 1, this is the a n, so instead of all the n right here, we'll just change that to n plus 1. We will end up with x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 factorial. And let's put the n plus 1 in the parentheses, and then we have the factorial on the outside. This is the a n plus 1 term. Times 1 over a n, namely the reciprocal of the original. So we will have n factorial over x to the n power. And then this is still in the absolute value. And then we don't get to just take out the absolute value because we don't know what x is. It can be negative numbers, okay? And now let's look at this expression right here. Let's simplify the exponent and also the factorial. For x to the n plus 1, we can write this down as x to the n times x to the first power. And then we see that x to the n can be cancelled with this x to the n. That's good. On the bottom, when we have n plus 1 factorial, what we do is we put on the inside first, the n plus 1, I mean in the parentheses, and then the next one is, you know, just subtract 1, so we have n, and then n minus 1, n minus 2, and so on. Namely, we will have multiplied by n factorial. And this n factorial can be cancelled with that n factorial. So that's very nice. And now what do we get? This is equal to x on the top over n plus 1 on the bottom. And then, once again, we still have the absolute value. And then, let's take a limit as n goes to infinity to see what we get. x is supposed to be just any real number that we're trying to find out for what value of x. So x is just like a number that, you know, a real number. But then n is approaching infinity. So if you think about when we have an x on the top over infinity plus 1, which is still infinity, this is what happens, right? A real number over infinity, we know that will be what? That will be 0. So this right here, we approach to 0 as n goes to infinity. So this is the limit that we get after we run through the ratio test. And then the ratio test says, look at the limit right here and set it, equal, uh, set it less than 1. And then you see that this right here, 0 is less than 1, which is always true. This inequality is always true. It does not depend on what value of x that we are talking about. If you choose 7 earlier, 7 over infinity is still 0. If you choose, let's say, 10,000, 10,000 over infinity will still be 0. It doesn't matter what x is. It can also be negative number if you want. When we end up with an inequality that's always true, then we know that, I will just write this down, x can be any real number. And that's the idea. And if you know that x can be any real number, we can say that the radius of convergence, so I'll put on capital R, the radius of convergence, this is infinity. Okay? And then, with a picture, I can show you. Let's refer back to the original power series. Here we have x to n power, so that's like x minus 0 to the n power. So the center is at 0. And then, well, r is infinity means that I can go all the way to the right, r is equal to infinity, and I can go to the left all the way. There's no end. r is equal to infinity. I can go either way, right? Well, for the interval of convergence, it's just all real numbers. So let me just write down. For the interval of convergence, I can just write it down as we go from negative infinity, and we cannot, neg we cannot include negative infinity, so open parentheses for that. 
comma, and we also you know, put parentheses because we cannot include past infinity. So this right here, it's the interval of convergence, and it means that x can be any real number. And then if you would like to know the radius of convergence, r is equal to infinity. This is it.